almost 50 years of amazing space investigation. NASA's Explorer test confronted a basic breakdown imperiling its vast route. A group of splendid researchers and specialists was collected by NASA to play out an exact framework update and set Explorer 1 on its course. Presently something peculiar simply occurred later the consummation of the framework update that has terrified researchers across the world. What stunning disclosure did NASA find in the framework recently put away information? Could this be proof of extraterrestrials? We should figure out what occurred after Explorer 1 got a programming update 15 billion miles away in space. Picture the farthest man-made spaceship from Earth encountering a glitch with no current playbook for settling the issue. This was unequivocally the circumstance looked by NASA, provoking them to devise a splendid arrangement. NASA delivered a task posting for programmers with an explicit range of abilities. These software engineers had to be specialists in Fortran and gathering, two programming dialects from the 1940s and 1950s that are new to most late alumni. NASA formed a team of researchers entrusted with a complete redesign of Explorer 1's framework all the way from its location 15 billion miles away. Over the course of a few weeks, the team led extensive research and reconstruction, considering the unique changes that had been made to Explorer 1 since its dispatch in the 1970s. After completing the update, NASA researchers made an amazing disclosure a neglected arrangement of data that the test hadn't sent in years. Something peculiar simply occurred after Explorer 1 got a programming update 15 billion miles away. But to see precisely the way that this could happen, we want to see some context. During the 1960s, an extraordinary proposition surfaced. A trying drive to embrace a grand campaign across numerous planets, wandering into the mysterious domains of the outer planets situated in the vast area of our solar system. This bold endeavor, suitably named the Grand Tour, looked to dispatch automated tests to explore Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and even Pluto. What made this arrangement genuinely momentous was the random arrangement of these planets, a unique event that would grace the universe in the late 1970s and not repeat for a range of 176 years. Exploiting this heavenly arrangement, the TN Explorer Shuttle, Explorer 1, and Explorer 2 were victoriously dispatched in 1977. The point was to use the gravitational power of Jupiter as a slingshot, driving them on a lengthy course to the outer domains of our planetary group. Initially, the primary target of the shuttle was to disentangle the mysteries of Jupiter and Saturn. However, their surprising discoveries forced the expansion of their mission boundaries. With newfound resolve, Explorer 2 set out on a pivotal journey wandering further into space to investigate Uranus and Neptune in extraordinary accomplishments that remain unparalleled by any other shuttle to date. Creative controller programming blessed the Explorer tests with enhanced capabilities, surpassing their original intended purposes. Over time, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 embarked on a heavenly odyssey, including the investigation of all the major outer planets of our planetary group, carefully examining for eight of their captivating moons and unraveling the many systems of rings and magnetic fields that these heavenly monsters have. In December 1977, Explorer 2 ventured into the asteroid belt with Explorer 1 trailing at a swifter speed, overtaking its companion nine days later. February 1998 marked a grand achievement for Explorer 1 as it surpassed Pioneer 10, becoming the most distant human-made object in the vast expanse of outer space. In 2002, Voyager 1 departed from the inner planet group, climbing over the ecliptic plane at a striking angle of 35 degrees, propelled forward at a stunning speed of 39,000 miles per hour. Explorer 2, on the other hand, charted a disparate path, dropping below the ecliptic plane, advancing forward at an impressive angle of 48 degrees and a remarkable pace of 3,450 miles per hour. Explorer 2 claims the record of reaching more planets than any other creation of a man-made probe. Meanwhile, Explorer 1 proudly rules as the most daring voyager from Earth, venturing further from its point of origin than any other traveler. Amazingly, both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 concluded their investigation of the outer planets within the initial 12 years of their groundbreaking mission, having fulfilled their primary objectives by 1989. These fearless explorers stood ready to embark on another chapter, exploring domains beyond the boundaries of our planetary group in January 1990. With their sights set on objects far beyond the inner planet group, 
the mission's task was appropriately modified to the Explorer Interstellar mission. Thus, these dauntless explorers ventured into strange regions where no familiar creation has ever taken off. Explorer 1 is no ordinary shuttle. It is an exceptional demonstration of the resourcefulness of NASA's brilliant architects, resisting the tenacious passage of time. Crafted with unparalleled accuracy, this interstellar trailblazer boasts a remarkable array of features that have facilitated its journey through the universe for almost 50 years. Among its many striking credits is its robust radio communication system, carefully designed to operate even beyond the divine limits of our inner planet group. At its core lies a Titanic 37M high-gain CAG grain radio antenna, serving as the main conduit for transmitting and receiving radio waves, bridging the vast distance between Explorer 1 and our home planet through the deep space network stations. When direct communication becomes impractical, Explorer 1 relies upon its trustworthy digital tape recorder, DTR, capable of storing approximately 67 megabytes of data for subsequent transmission. To put this accomplishment into perspective, signals from Explorer 1, originating around 2023, undergo a staggering 22-hour journey through the depths of space to reach Earth, a moving demonstration of the vastness of the universe. Equipped with sophisticated cameras, Explorer 1 has the ability to capture celestial wonders, immortalizing distant planets, their captivating moons, and domains beyond. Interestingly, these visible light cameras operate under the guidance of an imaging boundary table, carefully stored within one of the spacecraft's digital computer components. While Explorer 1's camera system relies on predetermined instructions, it is noteworthy that more contemporary space probes developed from the 1990s onwards have adopted fully autonomous camera systems, deviating from the traditional. Explorer 1 relies on its Intelligent Computer Command System, CCS, to coordinate its operations, a marvel of 1970s technology that controls various spacecraft capabilities, including command deciphering, fault detection routines, antenna pointing routines, and spacecraft sequencing routines. An updated version of the CCS, initially used during the 1970s Viking orbiters, it remains as a testament to the enduring power of robust engineering. Before we examine what just happened after Explorer 1 got a software update, you would need to figure out what's behind the longevity of Explorer 1. What accounted for the success of the Explorer tests? As you would expect, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 shuttle were equipped with an amazing array of specialized scientific instruments containing Intel suites and subsystems, which accounts for the longevity of the tests. Only a handful of instruments continue to function on board these brave voyagers. One of the getting-through instruments that stay functional on both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 is the Low Energy Charged Molecule Finder. This exceptional gadget, outfitted with three arrangements of molecule sensors, investigates particles and determines their speed by tirelessly investigating grandiose radiation and particles radiating from the sun, planets, and interstellar space. This indicator gives important bits of knowledge into the organization and conduct of these grandiose substances, wandering further into the domains of vast request. Both Explorer tests are furnished with a massive beam instrument. This instrument, with its remarkable capacity to identify profoundly vigorous particles originating from the sun and other cosmic sources, now serves an essential job. It measures the overflow of particles inside the protective air pocket of our sun's impact as well as those originating from interstellar space. These readings act as critical markers for researchers, helping them pinpoint the exact moment when Explorer 1 vented into the immense field of interstellar space. Another critical instrument that continues working on both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 is the plasma wave subsystem. Using its two stretched receiving wires, which stretch out at right angles to each other, this subsystem continuously measures the electrical field parts of potential waves experienced during the test processes. Initially planned to concentrate on these peculiarities on the outer planets, the instrument has now assumed the role of unraveling the mysteries of plasma waves as they pervade interstellar space. Its dynamic contribution in both rockets ensures an abundance of data for researchers to investigate and grasp. The magnetometer, initially tasked with researching the magnetic fields of the outer planets, has now progressed into another domain of scientific inquiry. Its primary goal is to test the transition area between the interplanetary and interstellar media 
by examining the magnetic qualities at the boundary where the sun's magnetic impact gives way to the magnetic field of interstellar space. This instrument sheds light on the complicated interaction between these astronomical forces. Also, celebrated instruments Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 continue to depend on the plasma science instrument for pivotal data obtaining. This instrument indefatigably searches out the lowest energy particles inside plasma while also having the capacity to recognize particles moving at specific speeds. Besides, to a limited degree, it can ascertain the direction from which these particles originate. As the shuttle sets out on its interstellar stay, the insights provided by this instrument become increasingly indispensable. While some instruments have succumbed to the assaults of time or have been deliberately deactivated to save power, the determined efforts of the Explorer team persevere. Trivial instruments were permanently shut down in 1998, 21 years after the initial dispatch, in a bid to preserve resources. Additionally, NASA has systematically deactivated radiators on both shuttles as part of their power-saving procedure. The power source for each Explorer craft resides in a group of three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs. These astounding devices derive their power from the decay of radioactive plutonium-238 transforming heat energy into electricity. However, as the plutonium-238 continues to decay, a time will come when it can no longer support the instrument's power requirements, resulting in the suspension of all scientific operations. While this inevitable power decline is projected to occur around 2025, the Explorer team endeavors to extend the lifespan of both space apparatus until 2027. This date holds great significance as it marks the 50th anniversary of their pivotal dispatch. To ensure continuous communication with Earth, each Explorer test is equipped with a pair of engines. These engines, though not designed for propulsion, play a crucial role in reorienting the shuttle, ensuring that their antennas consistently highlight our home planet by transmitting brief but accurate pulses or puffs lasting mere milliseconds. These engines gently adjust the space apparatus position, enabling vital communication to be maintained. What late glitch has grabbed the attention of researchers, and why did NASA settle on a software update? Recently, the famous Explorer 1 shuttle has experienced a series of disturbing challenges that threaten its very existence. One of the pressing concerns that have emerged is the occurrence of confused or corrupted telemetry data. As Explorer 1 navigates vast distances, it relies on sending essential information back to Earth to keep researchers informed of its progress. However, on several occasions, the sent data has arrived in a twisted and confused structure, leaving researchers wrestling with the overwhelming task of unraveling its valid meaning. This peculiarity has posed a significant obstacle in understanding the space apparatus' current status and the environment it encounters on its interstellar journey. Compounding these communication challenges are the signs of aging and deterioration that have appeared within Explorer 1's engines. These vital motors, responsible for reorienting the shuttle and ensuring its antenna stays pointed towards Earth, have begun to show signs of wear and malfunction. As the engines falter, the delicate balance required to maintain steady communication with our planet becomes increasingly uncertain. The risk of losing the ability to receive crucial data from Explorer 1 lingers unfavorably, possibly severing our connection with this inspiring messenger of exploration.